what is going on everybody good afternoon good evening good morning <laughs> good day to everyone hope everyone's having a fantastic day folks it's friday tgi friday we're going to be diving in on this market pulse update april 5th 2024 talking about the bitcoin price talking about the ethereum price talking about the hex chain hex on pulse chain we're going to be talking about pulse chain pulse x and of course Diving into some good old TGI Friday confessions going there, coin fashions, should I say. So, as always, hit the like button if you haven't already. Be sure to smash the subscribe to see all the new content that gets created. We do this Monday through Friday, so I appreciate everyone who does come in. Appreciate every single one as well. And uh, yeah, let's take a little gander at what we got going on in the market real fast. I know it's Friday, folks, so today is, again, more or less just going to be another chill day. I'm um, just going to have some fun checking out some items, checking out some prices, checking out some uh, details, and of course, seeing what's really going on overall. So if you got any questions or anything like that as well, you're welcome to throw them down in the chat. And without further ado, let's take a little peeky wiki over here at Bitcoin. Whoops, forgot to share the screen. It would help if I did that, I assume, wouldn't it? Boom. All right, cool. So we got Bitcoin. Let me actually get rid of this. I want to share the whole screen. My bad, y'all. Whole screen. Bam. All right, cool. So we got this over here. We actually have Bitcoin sitting at $67,651 right now. We got the halving coming up in roughly about 14 days. So two weeks away from the Bitcoin halving at this point in time. We did already break the all-time high, as we already know. We closed the monthly candle above that as well, actually closing around the 71,000 mark, which is pretty darn incredible, closing above the previous all-time high. Uh, does it actually draw back down before or after the uh, Bitcoin halving? Do we get a little rally on the pump up? All of that is to be determined, you know, to check it all out as well. I know we checked out some of the Bitcoin power law as well. And we've seen this in the past, but basically the easiest way to say it is in the future, by the time 2030 comes around, which is this little white line right here, the lowest price you'll see on Bitcoin will be 172,000. And so many people will be talking, laughing, talking about the $67,000 right now. What's funny is everyone always wants a little pullback and this happens in all crypto as well. We're going to be talking about this with Pulse Chain in just a second. But everyone always says that, you know, they wish they had a pullback because when it was running up to 73, 74,000 over here on Bitcoin, now it's back over here at 67. Heck, even dropped back down at one point in time, a little bit lower than that. If we break this down on the weekly, it actually dropped back down to 60,000 over here at one point, right? Everyone, that was plenty of buying opportunities for the people who actually wanted to. But again, now it's too high. Now it's not enough. They don't like buying on red candles. It's very weird, the human psychology that we have going on. Uh, but checking it all out, it happens with basically every asset that you can check out, which is why you see even on Ethereum right now, they even have a little pullback here at 3300 And again, you saw that actually around 3000 or even you saw it back here when it was a little bit lower around the $2,000 mark back here, right? But again, so many people don't like buying the red candles. They only like buying green candles. And then whenever the price actually drops, for whatever reason, this weird little mi mindset or psychology in your head actually switches it up and just says, ah. No, I don't really want to do it. I don't want to buy on the red. <laughs> so freaking weird, man. We're so weird as human beings. No doubt about that. Current price of Pulse Chain over here on this side, 40956. Current price of Pulse X, 40371. Current price of the ink token, $4.57. Hex over on Pulse Chain, uh, sitting at 20961. Hex over on Ethereum, sitting at 2017 at this point in time. I went over on the stream yesterday talking about the easy 100x possibility, and I still do see that as a very strong likelihood possibility. So if you had $10,000 invested on any of these tokens around these levels, around these prices, that's a quick little 100x flip that you can make and a nice little million dollars as well. So that's kind of what I see actually going on. Now, when I actually pull up the actual prices over here, you can see what we got going on as well. We did fall below this parallel channel. So at this point in time, we've kind of invalidated this parallel channel. We didn't really bounce back above it, even pulling it up on the three day or even pulling it up on the weekly. We are now basically out of it. It's just a matter of on the weekly, do we push back all the way on this one? So we really want to see how that's all going to stand and how it's all going to be tested. We are coming back down to retest this three, uh, four zeros, three, six level that you're seeing right here uh, because we're basically, you know, point zero, 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 one away at this point in time 
So, and you look at some of these items, looking at some of the previous prices to see where it may end up going as well. This is something that, once again, for individuals talking about they want a little bit better deal, these are the better deals presenting themselves in front of you at this point in time. Some resistance level or support levels that we would end up seeing is we have really one support level around this range right here, which would be the three zero or four zero three two seven. We would come back down and retest this level as well, just seeing what we've done in the past. And then we're going back down and retesting out these levels. So those are really the support levels that I'm looking at at this point in time. It's really hitting the 0.5 that we're seeing as a support that we're testing, going back down, retesting out a little bit more. If it wants to hit the 382, that's going to be another line of support that we've already seen in the past as well, um, right at the 40285 level. And then going down a little bit further, if it wants to keep on dropping, a nice little four zeros, two, four, five, five level. And that's all on the pulse chain side, folks. Or I mean, on the pulse X side, we are wanting to slightly move out of the soul oversold RSI situation as well. So keeping all that in mind, this is definitely an opportunity ahead. Even just getting back up to damn near the sack price is a nice little three X gain almost, or it is a little two and a half X gain at this point in time, just getting back up to sack. So just, Keeping some of that in mind, folks, again, I know when you're buying the red candles, it can be painful, especially when you buy and the price wants to go ahead and make another dip in the market, which sometimes will happen. The 20, 30, 40% dips are, in fact, in the game. In fact, this is actually one of the reasons why I actually do the profit-taking strategy the way I do, because what you do is you actually go over here, you buy over here, you buy somewhere over here in this range. So at this point in time, when the price does a 2x, you take a little bit of profit. When the price goes a little bit higher, you take some more profit. When the price goes a little bit higher, you take some more profit. And at this point in time, you've now taken profit maybe three times, and then you wait for that 60% dip. Sometimes you end up getting it, sometimes not. But at this point in time, we've absolutely already attained a 64% price dip at this point in time. And I do like to start allocating that capital back on these 60% dips going down even further, 60, 70, and 80% dips. So again, a 70% dip would end up putting us right here at this previous range close to on that uh, four zeros, two, eight, five, looking at the 80% dip again, would put us in that four zeros and a two range. So hopefully y'all are ready to take advantage of what's available and what presents itself to you when the time and opportunity arises. Looking at Pulse Chain, we have fallen below the SAC price at this point in time. So checking this out and seeing what it's going on. We have uh, basically tried to retest this level on SAC a few times. Again, this yellow line is, in fact, the sack price. So you can see we've actually dipped below it. We actually bounced above it. We almost held it as a level of support, dipped it, fell below it, hit resistance, fell below it, hit resistance. Usually things will actually like to try to test things three times so I can see it's coming back up and retesting this at least one more time. Resistance is, in fact, meant to be broken. Uh, but either way, it will actually tell us which way it wants to go on that third time if it does not break resistance it is likely that, again, the price is going to go lower. So get ready, folks. And I know this isn't like the news people want to hear. People want to get the mad energy. We're going to be going up into the moon into the next week, into the next month. I see it from the subscribers count, right? You know what I mean? I can see it from the people who come in and actually check it out. But for the people who stick around, you're going to be able to be thriving into the future. So make sure that you have a longer-term mindset further outside of this couple month window now if you actually look back we've basically been near sack price since june right at this point in time we've almost gone 300 days where the price has dipped below has gone above but at this point in time we haven't really done much in the last 300 days um, in terms of the overall difference and so a lot of the people have absolutely gotten shook out at this point in time and you know what for those people who do get shaken out it's part of the way it ends up going sometimes um, I was looking at some other charts as well, and maybe we can dive into it on some more details in a future stream. But I was looking at other charts and what they've done in the past for other layer ones and checking it out. One of the charts that looked damn near identical right now was uh, Sui, was one of the ones I was actually seeing. Uh, it launched roughly around the same time as, as, um, as Pulse Chain did. And again, just checking it out right here, I'll actually just pull it up real quick on a brief moment. And just so that way y'all can see, 
Because again, I like comparing to see how things have done in the past on other tokens, right? And so looking at this exact same chart over here, it's kind of showing me it's doing this exact same chart. It started over here to $1.40. It actually fell down all the way to $0.37. Cents. So if I was to pull up a live chart over here, it makes it a little bit easier to actually get some of these calculations using the good old Gecko terminal is how it sets it up over here for this one. But let me actually switch this up over here on weekly. All right. And again, this doesn't quite get it. But again, we started over here around May 3rd, $1.40. It actually dipped down. Nice little 70% over 168 days. For the next 168 days, it actually went back up again, back up to that $1.40 range or region at that point in time. And again, it actually dipped back down a few other times, so the next 140 days. And at this point in time, it is up, but you can see even this token as well is experiencing a little dip, 25%, going down as low as 30% over the last week. So keep that in mind, folks. It does happen for many of the tokens out there. I'm just checking it out. I've been looking at many other layer ones, and I'm going to be doing a video as well, doing a breakdown as to previous video, uh, previous layer one history based upon when it launched, how it launched, how long it took, how long it stayed in certain ranges, and all that and more. So definitely be sure to be sub subscribed to the channel to uh, get some information on this as well. But this is what I'm noticing. We've kind of done the similar situation where it actually did that same little 80% dip over here, 88% dip. It actually did that for roughly about 147 days. It actually started pumping again. It actually did that for about 196 days. We got a nice little uh, 6x pump as well, and now we're seeing a little pullback, which 60, 70, 80% dips are in the game quite often, folks. So get ready for that. If this is your first time in crypto or this is the first rodeo in crypto, typically, this time is different, I will say, in terms of what Bitcoin's doing, in terms of what the market's doing, typically, everything actually starts happening, happening after the halving cycle. So if this holds true, I would say we're here for about another three to six months, folks. And I don't want to be the bearer of bad news on that one. But I could see us playing within this range, almost getting a 3x range for the next six months, right? 180, 160 days, somewhere in here, playing in this little range before it actually decides which way it wants to go. Things get absolutely crazy. You see massive gains happen extremely quickly as well. And some of these opportunities are knocking on your door. And again, they are showing themselves to you saying, hey, I am here. So if you are wanting to get some ink token, I did the math the other day. And basically, if you were to be farming the ink token, kind of the difference on how long it would actually end up taking you if you just made a direct purchase on the ink token versus just being in the farm. So keep that in mind. Sometimes making a direct purchase can actually help kind of expedite that process of accumulation as well. And uh, just keep that in mind. That is a uh, that is absolutely an option to every single one of y'all. So check it out. Let me say what's going on to some chat folks real fast, boys and gals. Sorry if I feel a little bit off, man. I uh, did, did some dental work today. Good old dentist. Good old dentist visit once again. Checking it all out as well. Academiated says evening all. What's up, my friend? DJ Bomber. Yeah, okay, exactly. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Good afternoon. Good afternoon as well. What's up? Good night to all. <laughs> yeah, right. It's always weird. Everyone's all around the world at this point in time. So I appreciate every single one of y'all. So much love to you as well. Jason Smith in the house saying, what up? Been keeping busy, working, DCAing, nose to the grindstone. Another week just flew by. They running out of days, y'all. Yeah, they definitely are. There will be a day where, again, these prices aren't seen again. I know we talk about that. It's tough for some people to actually get there. X Glenn in the house saying, happy Friday. Absolutely. What's up, hey, lazy hexican? What's up, Alan Fizeme? Oh, cool. On YouTube and X. Noise. Yeah, right. Uh, yep. Saying hello to everyone for AFAM as he does. AFAM, so much love to you as well. Dips are in the game. EA Sports. It's in the game. <laughs> That's facts, though, y'all. That's facts. Dips are absolutely in the game. Eating some chicken. There you go. Happy Friday, folks. As a matter of fact, let me actually play some uh, little little Happy Friday music. Do I have? What do I got over here? In the background, they'll just kind of have that going in the background real quick for a second. 
All right. So what else we got going on in the actual crypto news? We're going to be diving into some little Twitter uh, coin sessions in just a moment as well. Checking it all out, seeing what's going on. But before we dive into that, let me see what's going on with the actual crypto news. Jury finds Terra Terraform Labs Doquan guilty on fraud charges. Wow. Uniswap all-time trading volume hits two trillion. Wow, that's pretty uh pretty high. I'm not gonna lie. Binance Titans KYC standards to for corporate clients, of course. They want to make sure they follow all the rules and regulations set forth by the agencies so they can keep making as much money as they can. FTX Estate sold $1.9 billion of Solana at a discount price. Hmm. What is Hashcash explaining the Bitcoin predecessor? Never even heard of that. Um, preparing for the bull run in 2024. How to build a crypto portfolio. Well, guys, go check it out. They'll tell you exactly what you need to know on how to build a crypto portfolio. Apparently, there was a miner that actually was able to earn 6.36 Bitcoin on one block of Bitcoin right as the having is approaching. So that, at this point in time, was equivalent to $422,000. So congrats to that particular individual. They just have so many different things like hash rates, which uh, I don't understand any of this. I've never been a Bitcoin miner. I've never set up a miner. Never delved into the knowledge of mining at this point in time, so I'm not quite sure exactly what this is all saying right here. But 7 pH per second or something like that, keyed block. No congrats to this particular individual. That's pretty damn crazy, but I can't imagine how long they had to wait, how much money they had to invest. But hey, they were able to make it work at the end, right? All they had to do is be a little bit patient. Bitcoin will not fall below 60,000 again, says Plan B. That's a big claim right there, Plan B. That is a big claim, my boy. <laughs> Dude, I wouldn't go short in Bitcoin or go taking long on Bitcoin anything. <laughs> like, yo, that's crazy to say something like that. But hey, might, might very well do that. The way I look at it is I'm actually seeing uh, the Bitcoin, the, um, oh my goodness, the ETFs over here. And they just continue to, they just continue to uh, keep on buying. You know what I mean? So I'm paying attention to that. But again, now they are kind of slowed down their buying, and Grayscale continues to dip. So again, either way, so that's a pretty crazy claim on this one. Coinbase becomes Canada's first international crypto exchange. Asset manager Franklin Templeton ex examines Bitcoin ordinals wave. Cosmos welcomes Frax. What else we got for some news over here, folks? What else we got for some news? This is as of April 2nd. So let me just refresh this page to double check. I got the most recent up-to-date news. Bitcoin Cash uh, completes having weeks before Bitcoin's turn. All right, cool. Doquan Terraform Labs found liable for fraud in SEC case. Damn. Why Bitcoin record, why Bitcoin, BTC's record monthly growth streak could be in jeopardy. Dude, nothing goes up forever. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, like... It did seven months in a row. It's never done that before in the history of Bitcoin. In the 14, 15 years it's been here, Bitcoin has never done that. Of course there could be a red month. Of course. Cryptocurrencies slip while stocks bounce on red hot jobs data. Goldman Sachs named as authorized participant on BlackRock Bitcoin ETF. If elections were settled with meme coins, Biden would win by a landslide. That's too funny. Roger Ver was right about Bitcoin. Yeah, imagine that. <laughs> it's so crazy, man. So crazy. I was watching a uh, an old. I was watching like an old video. I was watching an old video actually. Where where where, where am I gonna be listening to real quick? I was watching an old video where Kevin O'Leary basically just you know talking shit about Bitcoin back like eight years ago, having conversations with Roger Ver and you know or, or uh, you know just talking about how Bitcoin can be around and he's like I'm never gonna be buying it and then we actually saw how that all went down. He started you know participating in the whole FTX thing thinking yeah well they're good it's got all these people other people are endorsing and then he got a whole lot of people wrecked lost plenty of money himself all that good stuff man it's absolutely crazy people eventually come around but they just need to see the green candles and people are still bearish on crypto even to this day to this day people are still bearish on crypto you can't even talk to the normal individual about crypto at this point in time Pretty crazy y'all Pretty crazy. Yeah. Ah. 
Yeah, the toads come on Wednesday, my dude. Toads come on Wednesday. Never mind getting ready to getting ready for work on the weekend. There you go. 23 19 hours in London. Well, appreciate you tuning in, Miss Gloria. <laughs> that would typically be past my bedtime. <laughs> I chill. I make sure to get plenty of sleep. I try to be in bed by 10, but I usually don't fall asleep until like midnight or 1 1 a.m. So we try sometimes, right? We definitely try it sometimes. What else we got going on, man? I want to be talking about some coin fashion today. People have been going on saying some items over here on coin fashions, and why not just pull up some items as well? If I got questions in chat, feel free to throw them in and I will definitely check them out. This was one of the crazy ones that I was seeing. I just went back and checked out a whole bunch of old, um, older, if you will, some older posts made by Coinfessions going back some time just to find some good ones over here. Good to see you as well. Oh, guys, we, I was actually going to say there's, um, there's a scam thing going around and I don't know what's going on, but, uh, there was like a scam thing going on where it was like treasure was sending some little a scam message let me see if i can find it real quick give me a sec over here yeah it says basically right here treasure security fix required firmware bug found navigate to and it has a website and protect your and, and protect your secure device failure may result in loss you ever get a text like that y'all fucking ignore for it straight up don't be silly i feel terrible for the people who are brand new this actually happened with one of my Patreon pieces. We just got them set up with all the treasure device and everything like that. We just got them set up on multiple different devices to make sure that, again, whenever I talk about diversifying crypto, folks, we've talked about this before. When you're diversifying your crypto, you're splitting your funds into multiple wallets. So if you have 300 million pulse, you split that 300 million pulse into at least two if not three wallets because in the off chance that one of them ever gets compromised you still have backups i've said this before about your seed phrase make sure that you have backups of your seed phrase I say this about everything make sure you have a backup of something if you have stakes on only one system put stakes on another freaking device man like they can be the exact same time to end the stake as well, so that way you can knock them both out at the same time. But for the love of all that is, folks, just have a backup because you never know what's going to happen. And it's as simple as getting a text message that looks just like this. I don't know if you could even see it if I was to pull it up real quick. Should I even pull it up? I'll pull it up. It looks just like this, folks. Security found. Guys, come on. Come on. Stop it. And it sucks because he just got like everything set up. It doesn't suck in that regard, but it like it got it makes you so nervous when you're new to the game, new to the system, new to the hardware uh, security devices. It like it just kind of freaks you out. And then you get a message like that, and then you just do something silly because again your emotions are in control. And bam. All gone to shit. All gone to shit. What's up, Toby Wan? How you doing, my friend? With Danny and more. Good to see you as well. Please like the stream. Appreciate that, Gloria. What's up, y'all? Know what I would do with a friend like that? <laughs> I'd give him 100k worth of pulse and pulse X and do a time lock for it on it for three years. There you go. In 2011, a friend of mine sat me down and explained Bitcoin, showed me some videos, some articles, then advised me to invest now. I told him there was no guarantee and it was too risky. He understood. Today, he is worth millions. I work a shitty job that I hate. He never rubs it in my face. But whenever we hang out, I realize the only difference between us isn't, isn't knowledge or comprehension, but risk tolerance. It's one of my life's biggest regrets. This is going to be a standing thing that you're going to see in Coinfessions, y'all. The standing thing that you end up getting on this one. Because it happens all the freaking time. I invested two hundred thousand dollars in Ash. It took me a long time to get terms with this. My thought was they love creating, so they will never leave. I believed the idea, the vision, but nothing ever came of it. I desperately tried to sell my bag on my way home from the airport, 
and the transaction never went through. Today, the bag is only worth $6,000. So that's that risk that this person's talking about. The risk tolerance is there, folks. This individual here went from zero to a whole lot of money from NFTs and crypto at the age of 16. They say they did not do it for myself, but for my mom to help her pay all the loans she took to feed me and my siblings and to take care of our education. I had set a goal to make that money, but when the time came, I decided to wait a while and make more money. Worst mistake of my life, I started taking up the most risky plays, trying to make money fast, and I eventually got scammed and lost it all. Watching my mom now trying to borrow more money to pay for what she already owes is probably the worst experience I will ever have. I can't believe how much she is risk or I can't believe how much I risk on stupid mints and shit coins instead of the one thing that actually mattered. Guys, you're going to be seeing these all the freaking time. Greed's a bitch, I'm telling you. Like, when you God, when you turn a whole small little bit of money or whatever amount of money that you invested and it turns into a whole lot of money, you like it. The, the brain shuts off a switch and it's like, why would I sell now when it's going to double in another two weeks? Why would I sell now when we have this coming out? Why would I sell now and take profits? Take fucking profits. <laughs> like... Take profit, y'all. I'm being serious. Take profits. What's up, Paul Swag? ATX, let's go. Appreciate that, my friend. Just click the link and enter your seed phrase to update to a zero balance, lol. Dude, that's what be like that, man. It be like that. Like, oh, God, it, it's a type in your seed phrase. No, never, 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 never type in your seed phrase anywhere. There should be no reason why you need to type in your seed phrase. You get some customer support thing being like, type in your seed phrase and we'll help you out. Yeah, help you fucking lose all your money. I could never imagine going through that. Yeah, dude, believe people do. I got two treasures. I got two treasure texts uh, and emails from that. No idea how my info was gotten, but I hold on to my seed phrase like gold. It's even got its own fireproof safe, LOL, hidden. The website is clearly a fake too. Oh well, yeah, of course, man. The website's absolutely a fake. Absolutely a fake, y'all. It is 1,000% a fake. 1,000%. But people fall for it, man. It stinks. It absolutely stinks. Uh, what do they got here? Today I lost my life savings, 9,000 US dollars in one hour. It's my second time losing life savings in futures. I consider myself a good trader. <laughs> Lol. Made good money, spent a lot, but missed out. Now we'll have to work my ass off to put this money together again. Hope to see it come back. Did it once, we'll make it twice. Never give up on what you believe, we'll never use leverage again. For some people, it's as simple as uh, it's simple as that, man. It's as simple as sometimes losing. Sometimes it's a learning lesson. Sometimes it's a financial learning lesson, and that financial learning lesson can be simple or small. Nine thousand dollars—I don't want to say—is like chump change by any means, but I've seen people lose millions. So, like in retrospect, when you say it like that, you're like. $9,000, like, yeah, it's a good learning lesson. You, you got to learn it for fairly cheap, and you can still make a whole lot of money, y'all. Starting over from scratch would be rough. Lots of self-soothing required. Yeah, hook. This is how you would self-soothe. You say, forget crypto, man. It'd be hook, hookers, strippers, cocaine, and a whole lot of alcohol required to recover from that. Dude, man, I quit drinking and all that stuff, but I'm just saying, if I went through a financial loss like that, I don't know, man. You, like... I might just crack open a bottle that I've just been sitting on over here that I got. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're absolutely crazy. I'm depressed AF lately. Never really went, been well off, but now, let me try this reading this once again. I'm depressed as fuck lately. Never really been well off, but never had money problems. However, I'm feeling it now. I peaked around. $20,000 unrealized from $4,000 then realized what true greed was. I got too attached to them, stupid JPEGs, literally had enough to put a deposit down for a house, yet refused to sell. 
I'm still adamant on trading, being uh, being my way out, and confident in my abilities to read PA. I, I don't know if they meant to type TA, PA. What is this? PA. Let me know. And educate myself to levels required. I've improved so much in every regard, but I've come to realize my need for money is hindering my decision making. I'm trying so hard to become more disciplined, patient, etc which I've realized is by far the most important factor of being profitable, but I keep letting myself down. <laughs> Yo, patience is 100% the name of the game, y'all. How many people are getting shook out right now? How many people are getting shook out? These are the standard things that happen, folks. Back in June, lost, or back in June this year, I got scammed and lost everything. Uh, lost everything I had through no fault of my own. How can you say that? Through no fault of my I was I had no reason as to why. I have no idea what happened. I only kept my seed phrase on my computer and clicked on malicious dApps to no fault of my own. Okay. Learn to take responsibility first. I thought it was game over and that I wouldn't have time to load my bags again before the bull run. Or before the bulls return. Uh, it was pretty devastating, but I took some time out to get myself together and put a recovery plan in place. Within a month, I was able to invest around three months worth of capital, and I'm now halfway back to where I was, just smarter and wiser. LFG greens. <laughs> oh, goodness, man. Oh, this is, this is a story that you see happen so often, folks. <laughs> yeah. Right, for real, <laughs> bit finesse saying maybe PA is punt analysis. <laughs> Reminds me of what Anton Creel said, punting naked is for idiots. <laughs> Another scam is airdrops. I've been bombarded by these scammers on a regular basis. Yeah, for sure. So what's crazy, what's absolutely crazy on this, Gloria, is like sometimes you'll get a token that shows up in your wallet. Sometimes it's a valiant airdrop and it's actually worth whether or not dollars or pennies or a couple hundred or whatever the case may be. But for the most part, you'll just get random shit tokens in your wallet, random fake tokens in your wallet. What you end up doing is you go to an exchange to try to trade that token out, but you have to give the approval of that token to be spent in the first place. But what they don't say in there as well is that in inside that code when approving that token it actually allows them to approve all the tokens and basically just do a wallet drainer and so that will happen and then it executes and it just drains everything outside and it sends it all to a different wallet and then that wallet goes and sends it to more wallets because it's all basically automated now at that point in time so as soon as you approve the transaction just get rinsed so be very careful when it comes to some of these airdrops. Be very careful. DJ Bomber says, greed gets you scammed. Greed will screw you over more ways than you have even, than you can even imagine. It's just crazy. It's absolutely crazy, y'all. Absolutely crazy. What we got over here? Leverage is okay. Leverage is no stop loss. That's when, that's when you get wrecked. Yeah, dude. Leverage is never okay. That's why they say the three L's is how you get wrecked. Liquor ladies and leverage, right? Hey fam, shilling over here. Look at you. Hey fam, shilling. Check it out. If that thing goes higher, I think we make, we see. Let me try reading, folks. Not for nothing. P die is almost at 0 .008, almost a penny. If that thing goes higher, I think we see make the crypto news. Rooting for holders and our chain. I know you're not shilling, bro. I know you're not chilling, but I do agree with you that we definitely need some, you need some articles going out, man. Like you, like I can go on to any of these coin sites, any of these coin sites over here for any of my news, you know, it's not on any of the news on anything ever for any of these pulse chain. It makes me a sad panda, man. It makes me a sad panda. You get stuff like this where it's like Terraform co-founder Doquan found liable for civil fraud. You got BlackRock naming City or Citadel, right, as, you know, APs for its spot Bitcoin ETFs. SECs to eventually approve spot Ethereum ETFs. Like, there's articles written on here, right? SushiSwap, Montenegro, Spring, like all these. 
their articles there's something meme coin media data shows massive influx of traders into dogecoin like there's articles right and like we don't have the articles man so i'm with you bro i'm with you a fam because it is impressive and if there's something that can get eyes on to the ecosystem outside of us doing the conversations and having the streams and being the twitter you know peeps that we are and the community in that regard you know, i'm all for it man i'm absolutely all for it and to the people who made money congrats man like that is what crypto is about in the first place like i don't have a bag of p dye or anything like that i don't have any sort of crypto for the meme tokens because i just don't feel like going down that path to me it opens up a path of degeneracy that i know i've been down before and i'm telling you when i open up that pandora's box it just gets worse for me man so instead i refrain i keep myself limited to holding a set number of tokens less than 10 less than 10 tokens do you know how many tokens there are in the ecosystem not only in pulse chain but in the crypto space in general there's like 60 to 70 thousand plus tokens out there there's gonna be a lot of tokens made and there's gonna be some that do very well there's gonna be some that make people a whole lot of money and to those folks who make a whole lot of money congratulations man congrats that's what it's about don't be like some of these coin fashion people talking about i had it and i didn't take any profit round trip like look, look at this one round trip the vast majority of my bags that topped out at 2.8 million dollars in the year of 2021 my justification i was making thirty-five thousand dollars in yield a day how could anyone sell thirty-five thousand a day that experience took me to some of the deepest points of self-hatred in my life but i understand now it was the most valuable and expensive lesson i've ever learned about my impulses and the power of greed i see so many people confessing living with shame and to hiding similar experiences from their loved ones you will never find peace until you forgive yourself and start with a clean slate there's real power in what you've been through but it's up to you to find it and leverage it like i'm telling you man i'm telling you it's freaking crazy y'all it's freaking crazy because you see these things and you're like how can i learn from it what can i do to make it better right what is the possible thing <laughs> what's up steph it says the viking says hello keep up the good work appreciate that my friend appreciate that well swag says exactly exactly and if people make a lot of money on that, a decent amount will go into the core RH tokens. No lie, imagine the headline. RH fork, RH, RH fork network pegs die copy to a dollar. Creating money out of thin air. Literally, that would be making money out of thin air, folks. Literally. And what I've said in the past is what I love is we have a perpetual market, perpetual marketing for Pulse Chain. Because at any point in time ever, you can go to people and say, hey, people, anyone listening, if you are holding any crypto tokens on your Ethereum wallet on May 12th, 2023, you, sh you actually got it copied over and all of it was actually over on Pulse Chain. And imagine you got a person who happens to have a big old bag of dye that they were holding on Ethereum. And imagine P dye ends up getting up to, I don't know, we'll just say, 10 cents in that example they're still sitting on a bag of sixty thousand dollars that they have that was given to them for free and what do you think they do they go tell the next person and the next person and they tell their friends and they tell their friends and their friends tell their friends and it's this marketing that's never going to go away folks that is one of the most brilliant things ever about pulse chain of course there's a whole lot of tokenomics and everything as well but it, dude like come on guys I'm happy when people make money. I really am. In March 2020, I bought at the bottom and obtained 50 Bitcoins with my life savings, which was $250,000. Six months later, I SIM swapped it. I, I was SIM swapped and it was all stolen from my Coinbase account. I reported to the police, hired a private investigator. We found the guy who did it. There's not enough evidence for a conviction. And the fact is it was a minor. Uh, <laughs> he was a minor at the time. 
and also not a U.S. citizen meant he faced no consequences whilst keeping my money. I envy him. I hope the money was worth ruining my life. <laughs> so, so sad. So sad. I onboarded my best friend into an ecosystem I thought had a ton of potential and would be a good investment. The price ended up going up 44x, but he didn't sell. He then bought into the next highly anticipated hype. Dude, this is the this is how meme coins work, man. I'm just telling you right now. This is like the cycle that is meme coins. You do really well. Like, say for example, so AFAM talked about people coming back into the RH tokens. There will be a portion of people who go back into the RH tokens, no doubt in my mind. The other people say, why would I go back into the RH tokens when it's going to go sideways for another six months? Why would I do that whenever I can go get into the next meme coin and go get a 20x more? <laughs> it's, it's so funny, man. People absolutely trip me out because greed's a real thing, guys. And you got to get control of your greed at some point. At some point, you better get control of it. Otherwise, it will get control of you. And then you'll be one of these stories over here and I'll be reading you off on one of these TGI Friday streams. So... <laughs> The price ended up going up 44x. He didn't sell. He then bought into the next highly anticipated hyped ICO by the same founder. Fast forward a year and now his life is in shambles. He sold at a loss after seeing a 4400% gain in 2021 and is down 90% on the ICO broke and moving back in with his parents at 28. Lost his job, his girlfriend from depression, and now he won't talk to me anymore and avoids me in real life. Well, that's a sad story, but it does happen, folks. It does happen. Let me see if I can get one of the good old ones. Let's see. This one looks like a fun one. Bitcoin and Ethereum changed my life. I was let go from my job in November of 2021, ironically, at the top, and had been living off my initial investment, 2014 for Bitcoin and early 2017 for Ethereum for the last two years. I've been in college 14 years. I'm 32, saving up and paying for classes at a university in America. BTC helped pay for my last two years completely. And I was finally able to graduate spring of 2023 with no debt, still trying to figure out my next move. Dude, congrats, man. But look what look what that all said in there. Time, y'all. Time. 2014. We haven't even been holding pulse chain for a year yet, y'all. 2014. 2017. Give us some time. I promise you're gonna be okay. I promise. I bought Bitcoin in 2021 using part of my savings after reading the Bitcoin standard book and believing in the price models promoted by the author and many podcasters. I convinced my brother and some cousins to buy it too. My cousins used half of his savings and was forced to sell later at a loss for an emergency. My family relationships are irreversibly damaged. I have been avoiding family gatherings whenever possible. A friend introduced me to crypto a few years back and I instantly got into it. Learned a lot during this time, moved from spot to futures as market was slow and shorting looked like a better way. I made a few thousand dollars in the last few weeks, but lost it all today, shorting cyber and watching my deposit vanish. Today is my last day in crypto. And that's the mistake that so many people make, man. They run into an issue where they make money, they lose money, and then they just say, I'm out of crypto. And I think that is, I think it's sad, man. I think it's very sad to see whenever I start seeing some of those things. Crazy, man. Because again, it's it's one of those that you see this kind of stuff. Crypto has set me free. I got into a space with a small amount at the start of the last bull run whilst in uni or university and have recently liquidated everything and bought a house. No mortgage and a place to live, all from trading shit coins with friends. Grateful every day for what this space has given me and ready to start over fresh. Congrats, man. Congrats. Several people are going to end up doing that and uh, making plenty of money. There you go. I love this one. I'm literally all in on crypto right now. I have $100,000 in Bitcoin and ETH. I'm in debt, I'm missing payments, but keep putting money into crypto. <laughs> I'm all in. And if this doesn't pay, if this doesn't pay off, I'm fucked. <laughs> Yo, that, that'd be like that for people as well, man. It, it works both ways because it's one of those it's one of those crazy things, man. It's one of those crazy things that you, you when you tell a regular person or a normal person, uh nice. And when you change when you change your you know, your perspective on some things as well, for whatever I'm telling you, like 
the crypto game, your mind just goes weird, bro. Your mind just goes absolutely weird. <laughs> it's so it's so backwards in crypto, man. It's so backwards. And again, you could be up. Like say that person who had a hundred thousand dollars back here, right? A hundred thousand dollars. Like say say they've say they've bought over here and you know they're up two, three X on their money. They don't want to sell because they're like, why would I sell now? Why would I sell? I put in thirty thousand dollars and I have a hundred thousand dollars. Why would I sell? <laughs> like, but then they don't live in there. You know, they're going into debt and probably the credit's getting wrecked. And so, like, guys, take care of yourself first. At the end of the day, like, the money is going to be here. And if you do have a long-term mindset, if you start off with a hundred thousand dollars and you pull out enough to be able to live on, say thirty thousand, for example, I don't know what your living situation is. And you sell seventy thousand dollars in crypto, dude, you're gonna be okay. Like, I understand for some people, they're like, no, nah, that's a 30. Like, oh, why would I do that? That could be millions of dollars one day. I get it. But like, if you got stuff to do with your own personal life, take care of yourself, man. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your bills. Take care of your health. All of it, man. All of it, y'all. Oh, hold on. I've seen that earlier. Yeah, exactly. I'd love the exposure too, man. I definitely would. Hey, fam. Wow. I had a Billy a while back, sold it on a Forex and put it into Hex. There you go. Checks my pulse. And that's something that you, um, that's one of the other things a lot of people do too, is they end up getting some profit and they transfer it all into one token. And then that one token that they transferred it to doesn't take off. And then the one token that they actually traded from does take off. And then they have regret. And so like that regret is so poison, man. It's so poison. Because you made you made additional money at the end of the day, and I understand it could be a whole lot more money, but dude, you got to be grateful for what you ended up doing as well. Uh, do do. Let me see over here. What else we got? What? What does this person say? As weird as it sounds, I always imagine how people smell in real life. For example, I bet my Kobe has a Woody Must scent. And pleasantly surprised how people smell in real life. Had the pleasure to take a whiff at Ford Ape founder Garga during a Miami event, and he smells nice. <laughs> People's fetishes are so freaking weird, bro. So freaking weird. <laughs> Here's a good one. I like to think I'm an intelligent person, but I've been in the space over two years. Now all I've done is lose money. I understand what makes a project successful and what causes it to fail. Yet I have watched friends become degen millionaires, aping into dog themed shit coins. Whenever I've yoloed in, I've gotten wrecked. Starting to question if I'm wasting my time. Isn't this how everyone feels right now on these meme tokens? You got dog with hat doing stupid things. You got Dogecoin going back up. You got Shiba going doing you know doing his thing. You got so many. Dude, the meme coin mania cycle this this year around this time around is freaking crazy, crazy. There was actually a. Uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. There was an actual thing on uh, Dune. If I if I'm if I recall correctly. See if I can find it real quick with y'all live on stream doing some research actually right now with you. So, um, let's go in here. We're going to go ahead and type in narratives, narrative. Uh, let me see. Let me see if I can narrative volumes. I think it was this one. Am I too zoomed in? Uh oh. That's not the right one. Well, maybe I won't be doing it with y'all. Narrative. So basically, the percent volume traded in each narrative. No. I just choose the exact same one again. Am I silly like that? So basically, what it is is showing that the meme coin narrative right now is stupid high, y'all. And I do mean stupid high. I don't think it's AI narrative. I don't think it's right here at all. No. Uh, nope. None of these. None of those AI ones. Maybe I'll end up pulling it up on a different one and see if I can actually pull up the right information over here. But basically, the meme coin narrative is 
of like super high it basically is capping everything it's well above the etf narrative it's well above everything right now absolutely freaking crazy absolutely crazy uh here we go i work at an nft project people have no idea how toxic can be inside and yet we have to make it all seem like it's all good vibes to the community frustrated founders saying unspeakable things to staff fake promises lack of organization and abuse high of, of hierarchy the holders have no idea at all that's the reality of most nft projects every day i think about quitting but i need the money i don't feel happy at all here well i feel very bad for that individual very bad oh man that stinks dude i had a six hundred fifty thousand dollars during the peak before ftx collapsed i kept lying to my mom that i've stole before the crash put the money into savings bonds she need not worry about her kidney dialysis medical fees oh i did not now i'm living paycheck to paycheck with zero savings and monthly repayment for a bank loan that i took to pay for the medical fees oh bro bro crazy man i've been degen trading crypto for years made seven figures fucked up my taxes because it's impossible and now i'm being audited <laughs> a lot of my realized gains were from crypto to crypto trades at the height of the market i could lose everything from penalties interest and legal fees damn damn yeah guys keep that in mind too Something uh, trading crypto can also lead to that. So if you're a degen trader, pay attention. Pay attention to that kind of stuff. Sometimes holding the crypto long term, sometimes the best thing you could do, especially holding it for longer than a year so you don't get hit with short term capital gains taxes. Oh no, I just seen a pulse chain tweet right here. Let's get it. Let's see what it says. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hold on. I quit my job in 2021. I quit my job in June of 2021 when the pulse chain sacrifice was going on. I had so much money from Hex, I figured I was set for life. Two years later, and I'm on the verge of asking for my job back from my old boss. Just finished EES, in which means emergency in staking, all of my Hex stakes, and I'm done with crypto with this sour taste in my mouth. Oh, shit. Who do you think it was, y'all? Which influencer do you think it was? Let me know. <laughs> Who do you think wrote this article right here or wrote this message into Coinfessions? <laughs> I just want to know who y'all think, man. <laughs> uh, but for real though, man, you know, people be doing that shit because a million dollars isn't enough to actually truly retire. And how do you fuck off a million dollars? Like, I had so much money from Hex, I figured I was set for life and then fucked it off two years later. What did you do, my friend? What did you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want y'all to put it, I'm not gonna put them up on messages, but I want y'all to have some fun putting them in the chat. <laughs> oh man, Text from Paul says, still feel blessed, was able to accumulate what was once unattainable facts dude guys there was a day where I, I i envisioned having over millions of hex i had envisioned having over hundreds of t-shares and because of everything as it's played out over this time period i've been able to get it it's incredible it's incredible we're fortunate we're blessed but again you got to take the opportunity as it presents itself in front of you because the opportunity is there right now i'm with you checks my pulse what's up red squirrel how you doing have them nuts. Hey fam says, man, these coin fashions are making me feel better, to be honest, lol, which sucks because that don't make me feel a good person. <laughs> but it's true, man. That's that's the purpose of this, guys. It's to get a mindset switched on this one. Okay? It's to get a mindset switch, to get the mindset in a reality that says like what we got going on right now isn't the end at all and if you think of whatever's going on in your own personal life and you feel like maybe these articles are hitting you and touching base and touching home a little close to home or whatever the case may be absolutely it's supposed to feel that way it's supposed to put that mindset back in again so often we hear the stories of people getting scammed we hear the stories of people turning a lot of a little bit of money into a lot of money and then not doing anything about it we hear the stories of people quitting their job too early. You hear the stories of 
people saying they've made it but then you know to all their friends and then they actually sold the tokens back in the early days and now they're putting a front on like that is the point of these little coin fashions folks convince my mom to buy link at 15 usd last bull run at that time i was convinced that link was going to a hundred dollars so i told her not to sell she kept convincing me to sell at forty dollars because she told me uh that it's already worth twenty thousand dollars from seven thousand dollars good thing i listened to her and sold them all at 40. in hindsight my mom's a better trader than me no she just doesn't have that same sentiment attachment that we do sometimes sometimes we get so caught up in whatever we whatever number that we have envisioned in our head which is why giving price predictions can sometimes end up fucking some people up because if you say dude i think pulse chain is gonna reach three cents one day what if it just reaches 2.5 cents it ends up being crazy like that y'all it ends up being crazy Ran a hundred thousand spot bag in 2021 bull run, lost it all on NFTs right before the bear started. I leverage traded my way back up to 20,000 mid bear, lost it all. Did it again this spring, but this time cashed out and put a down payment on an apartment. I'm 24 broke as ever, and I'm terrified I won't be able to do it again next run. <laughs> oh my gosh. Crazy, man. Crazy, y'all crazy sorry we got the dog got the uh, surgery over here on this one so just making sure he's all good my puppy yeah too puppy yeah too funny man yeah right for real guys for real y'all i'm reading all the names <laughs> i'm reading all the names <laughs> i remember that dude man it was definitely probably him a fam it was uh he was he was launching all sorts of shit things too man and i was like i'm staying far away from this for real Look, guys, this it's been it's gonna be a crazy time in crypto. It really is. These are a few of the coin fashions that come through that people feel comfortable sharing. We all have our own stories and we all have our own experiences. But just remember, at the end of the day, you're just getting started into a crypto bull run right now. Don't screw up the next 12 months because the next 12 months can absolutely change your life, folks. The next year, the next two years, the next four years, the next six years, like stop thinking short term. Look at that individual who held Bitcoin from 2014, who held Ethereum from 2017. They lost their job in 2021 or 2022, and they were able to make it. They were able to live because of all the effort and time that they've put in. So keep that in mind, folks. Keep that in mind. Other than that, I will catch y'all in... A stream with Pulse Nation come tomorrow or Sunday. I hope all of y'all have a fantastic day. I'll see you around. Peace. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. Head down, push forward through the tough times. Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb. I ain't gonna give up. Got too little time, I'ma live up. 